One of the features that makes the Talk Tablet software very flexible and very powerful is the fact that these buttons have multiple activities or multiple actions, things that they can do. They can say something or they can open a new page of buttons. That goes without saying. However, a button can also be told to go to a previous page or to always go to the home page or to clear the message bar or to speak the message bar. So these little buttons like this back button up here, that might be too small for some users. You might want to have a button right over here somewhere else that says backspace. It's just more that's just more clear. Or instead of having to touch up here to go to the home, you might want to have your own home button. And let me show you that. I'll start by let me edit this button right here. So I'll start here by clicking on edit. And we'll just talk about some of the actions that are available for a button. I hit edit. Okay, now if you look right here, actions. These are the things that a button can do. Speak text. So let's look at this button right beside it. Okay, if, this, if that, that button over there just has this one thing checked off, speak text. So when you click on it, it will just say, what month is it? Simple. Open page is for linking to another page, so to open up another page of buttons. Add message means when I press on this button, it will appear up here on the message bar. So you may want that, you may not want that. You can select multiple options here, by the way. So if I select speak text and add a message, means when I touch this button, it will say the moment I touch it, what month is it, and it will also put it up here in the message bar. Let's go back into that, sorry again. Okay, so speak text, open page, add message, brings it up here. Clear last message, really that is the same as the backspace key up here. So I could have a button here that does a backspace or up here or wherever I want to put it. So, it's a, so I wouldn't have to press here, the user could just press the button that has the um, clear last messages on there. Clear all clears the entire message bar. So I could have a button that when I press, which is what this one is set up for exactly, it will, when I press that one, it clears the whole message bar. So let me go back and show you that one. If I look at this button, the clear button, which clears my message bar, let's look at that one. Edit. Actions. See? It says clear all, which means it'll clear that button, and it has a symbol. Previous page. If I wanted this button to always go back to the previous page that that first came to this page and always go back to that previous page, I would just select previous page. Go home. If I have a button like this one here, its action is go home. So it'll always take you back to the main page. But you could also choose go home, and this is what I like doing, and clear all. So when you hit go home, it will go home and clear the message bar at the same time. Which sometimes seems like a uh, about me. Common thing to do. Calendar. Okay. Some of the other actions are go back into edit. Go home. Stop speech. So if you have a long message going talking and you want to stop it halfway through, you might have want to have a button that says stop. The last option for actions is open keyboard. I, had, I could have a button here that had a picture of a keyboard on it, and when I touched it, it would open the keyboard that you'd normally have to press this little button on the bottom here for. So, and you can have any number or combination of any of these. They're all available to you. So, that's what makes the Talk Tablet really powerful. You can have actions, not just single purpose speaking or opening a page. They can speak, open a page, clear a bar, open a keyboard, and carry on. Those are some of the actions that are included with the talk tablet.